You will have sex with your mother. Jerry gets a fortune cookie that says he's going to have sex with his mom. And he is convinced that this is something that's actually going to happen. <laughs> the rest of the family makes fun of him, but Rick understands when something is important to you that maybe not everybody else understands that. You may be the single dumbest human I've ever met, Jerry, but you still have a right to take whatever you want seriously. Thank you. He takes on this challenge to try and like console Jerry in some way and ends up discovering that there is actually a power behind this. Okay, I'm just as likely to shit a balloon as I am to become a dolphin. There's a subtext to that story that has to do with Rick kind of contending with the idea that he's not the most remarkable person in the world, that Jerry can be more remarkable. Now you think this has something to do with you. Jerry, whoever's behind that fortune has like God powers. Of course it has something to do with me. Rick couldn't understand why he wasn't the one that received that fortune. This insignificant character, Jerry, was given this crazy offer of a story. Jeez. How much money can there be in cookies that you get for free? They find themselves in the middle of a mega corporation that is profiting from controlling fate. This is actually an episode where I think Rick is particularly gadgety. Like I have his eye popping out of his head at one point so he could see around corners. Jerry, while I appreciate the sentiment, this is a huge waste of the last real fortune. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... It's cool. It's cool. Jerry and Rick get a little bit closer during the episode, but my intention is, nah, they're not closer. <laughs>